How's your morning going? I was sent to journey all morning, so that's what kind of mood I am. Let's go to class. Hey guys, I just got out of my art criticism class, and we learned about Dada, which is a type of art where basically people would just like drop pieces of paper onto a paper on the ground, and then this is my art, or randomly cut random shapes out of wood, and this is my art, or even um, this guy named Duchamp. Duchamp. Well, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but he would take, he took a urinal, flipped it upside down, wrote someone else's name on it, dated it, and that was his art. And people were outraged that he would ever think of doing that, and like, when it was on exhibit, would like go over there and pee on his work, or hit it with a hammer, and it was just really funny. So, this guy, um, hold on, give me a second, he... This is Hugo Ball is his name. And he wrote this poem because it's about like nonsense. Like the Dada era was basically this it's like 1917 era. Um, this is nothing like this poem has no actual words. It's all about the uh, subconscious mind. And when you think of Dada, what is the first thing you say when you're a child? You basically say mama or dada. So this is the dada era. There's no mama era, I don't think. But like this is called dada. So he made a poem called Caraway. I'll read it to you. Jolofanto bambla o fali bamba. Grasiga mfa habla haram. Egiga goreman. Higa bloiko rasolo hujo. Polaka halala. And logo bung, blaga bung, blaga bung, basa fataka, oo, 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 shkapa wula wasa olobo, hej tatagorum, esij zumbara, wulubu sabara, ula subudu, tamba baum, kasagum, baum. And that was his poem that he was like famous for. What? <laughs> So it was just kind of funny, and then the teacher had us all stand up, and when she said three, like on the count of three, we had to do something completely random, and I tried saying like, blaga bung, blaga bung, blaga bung. <laughs> it was really funny. People were like on chairs and stuff. But yeah, that was my morning. So how is your morning going? So hey guys, I'm out of class. Um, my class, well, the teacher made us stay like 10 minutes later than we were supposed to. So instead of getting out at 3.15, I got out almost at 3.30. So I'm hungry because I had like a early, early lunch and it was only an Easy Mac that you put in the microwave. So I'm going to go to my school from Subway and see if it is as good as normal Subways because we had Burger King here and I used to like Burger King and then after I had it here, I absolutely hated it. So let's see how good they do subs there. Well, Subway didn't have meatballs so I didn't get a meatball marinara. So I decided to get pizza. Didn't realize that the pizza was so small. So it looks like I'm getting dinner after all. I got margarita pizza. All I did was just put basil on top of a normal cheese. Purple. Hey guys, I'm all packed, waiting for the shuttle once again. So my busy routine of never getting a day off continues. Um, bringing home this duffel bag for my brother. So all my stuff is randomly everywhere in this bag. This travel suitcase is completely dying on me. When I lift it up, this pole comes out, so I have to like fix it and keep it on a lower thing. So when I'm walking, it constantly kicks my feet. So thank goodness that my mom is picking me up in Waltham, which means that I don't have to go to the T's in Boston and have to pick this up because that would be hell. So yeah, catch you guys in a little bit when I'm back in the car with my mom. Here to go. Hey guys, I got great news. Matt's ring came in. Let's see if it actually fits him this time. Does that still have your engraving in it? Does it say your name? Yeah, they re-engraved it. It does? Yes. Fits. Perfect or loose? It's perfect. Yay! Abby! It fits him! Hold on. And I got Abby a 
present too. I got her this little toy and she loves it. She loves it. Hey guys, so we're about to watch the movie Ids of March. It's with um, George Clooney. Haven't seen it yet, obviously, because I wouldn't have gotten it. And we got it from Redbox, which I know a code to get one day free. So we're watching it tonight, so I don't have to pay anything. So yeah, we'll catch you guys tomorrow, and I'll let you know how the movie was. So I'm bright and early tomorrow. Long day of work. Non-stop break. No breaks for me. Alright, bye.